So thanks for coming in. No, no worries. You know, I'm always here, to, happy to help. Especially when you guys told me you were doing this news report, this interview, and everything on the minority of friends with driver's licenses. So you're always gonna drive people around because you're the only one that can. You know, I'm always here to support us minorities. So yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, so uh, how's it been uh, with the film crew? The film crew, yeah, so the orange crew and everything, driving them around, the only one with the license. So uh, it's been all right, you know. Sometimes I feel like that's all I'm useful for, driving them around. But, uh, you know, what can you do when you're such a <sighs> good driver? I am getting paid as at least, <laughs> getting paid in a hug. So tonight we're going for a night shoot for Latham, so I'm going to make sure I get a nice big old hug from him. Uh, I'm sure you'll have your camera crew there to capture the moment and everything, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, so we have a question from one of our avid viewers. They were wondering, uh, in regards to your DUI last year in September, how have you been dealing with that? Have you recovered? Did someone say KFC? I don't care. Uh, you would have seen that quick start there. I'm just a little joke, a little put in and everything. You know, you've seen my vlogs, you know what's going on here. But today I'm going to bring my PC uh, to case gears and everything and then try to get it. Hopefully, they will get it fixed. Uh, I've got the warranty and everything still going. Um, and then I'll hopefully I get that back soon. And then tonight we'll go and shoot Latham Short by the lake and everything. Um, it's going to be a late night shoot, just a few shots. And then hopefully I don't come back too late because tomorrow I'm working in the morning and it's my first shift back waiting to get the COVID vaccine. So I wasn't able to work when it opened up and everything. But yeah, my first shift back tomorrow, it's gonna be an early start and it's gonna be a long day and I'll be tired. Thanks, white people. So, because afterwards we're gonna go pick up some new glasses, which I previously mentioned in the last vlog. And uh, I also went and bought a shirt from Kmart and everything. But uh, let me show you off my new glasses. Um, so these are my old glasses and everything. Let me quickly pop off into the new ones. So here are the home glasses I have. So these don't go dark or whatever it's called uh, when I'm outside and stuff like that. So I have ones for when I'm at home and that way these will like, you know, not really get dirty or they'll be like, I have a backup one essentially. And you know, I, it was the same price for me to get two of them <laughs> instead of getting one of them. So might as well get two while I'm at it. So these are the, one of them. These are, you know, the outgoing pair, my second one essentially. Uh, these are the main ones I'm gonna be wearing and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully they look good <laughs> and everything. I, I'm pretty happy with them, nice new buys. <laughs> Well, 
my brother's given me the camera even though I have to join this in like a few minutes and he's majorly stressing me out <laughs> but hello I am about to join my live exhibition online in the virtual space <laughs> okay <laughs> Right now, I'm dressed in this suit and everything because for Beth's shoot, I have to play a background extra. <laughs> I have to go to Beth's for a real before I had the facades. I need to get some stuff, you'll see. Um, and then I gotta go dress like this. <laughs> it's gonna be really weird. But I also um, what, was gonna do dress like this without this jacket, of course, for the butler, the chauffeur thing I had at the start. <laughs> but um, I was like, nah, I gotta dress for comfortability because it'll be a night nice shoot at a lake and stuff like that. This is too much. Um, but anyway. Let's go best shoots. Yes. My vlogs are lighthearted, kind of jokey, all this kind of stuff happens and whatnot. But um, I sometimes want to get serious, and today something personal happened. <laughs> so, you remember a few months ago uh, when I went to get the COVID vaccination and everything, I talked about the vaccination passport and stuff. I mentioned going to Singapore, family, all this kind of stuff. Uh, at the time, I, when my daddy had been like a few months in and out of hospital, all this kind of stuff had happened. It's already been a few years since I've seen either her or my nanny, all this kind of stuff. And you know, I was one part of me wanted to mention, oh, you know, that's because of that reason I want to go get vaccinated, all this kind of stuff, really big part of it. Um, but I didn't, I kept it simple, I thought, you know, kept it, you know, like, like more positive, all this kind of stuff. Basically, what happened is, um, there was a COVID scare at a shoot, and, um, you know, potentially I already have booked plane tickets and everything to go to Singapore to visit my family. Um, that might have to get cancelled. I don't know what's gonna happen. Just put the equipment down that I was cleaning up and closing and all that kind of stuff. And just went to the toilet. <laughs> it's weird because it feels like something from a movie where I go to, to go straight to the toilet. I'm making noises and crying, all this kind of stuff. And I just sit at a stall for like an ab abnormal amount of time. Literally, when I went to the mirror after, I was like, okay, I need to get back out there, all this kind of stuff. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to hide, you know, all this that happened and whatnot. Um, and now I've only looked better. I did check in the mirror. I do definitely look a lot better than I did before. Um, but anyway, I uh, went back out there and then I started getting a little teary again. I got emotional again. I got a hug, which was very nice. I do love my hugs. COVID did a big uh, doo-doo on that. That's oh, When I left the shoot, I got to the elevators and then I started crying again. I, and uh, I, I put on, tried putting on my mask, tried putting my headphones. The elevator came up and went back down. That's how long it took me to get composure to go back down. And then I got to the train station. I was staring at the departure signboard for a few minutes. And then I was like, oh, I gotta get going. I got to the train station platform. Uh, I had to wait 20 minutes or so. And I just felt like Keanu Reeves there. But I had all I want for Christmas playing because I needed something to kind of, you know, 
pump it up a little, get a little happy, all this kind of stuff. I'm, I'm not recounting everything so well, but the point is I got emotional over what happened and it sucked. It, it's you know, the fact that I might not be able to see, you know, my grandparents, grandmothers again, you know, just in case something happens, God knows what. I'm sorry for this vlog turning into such a serious, sad thing. I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm lucky I'm not crying now again, all this kind of stuff. Open, be out there, don't 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 know hide all this kind of stuff share it because it's it's good too i i that hug felt very nice and comforting that i got so i'm really grateful for that for that um i'm gonna end this here i'm gonna end this here it'll probably cut to another clip explaining what the result is of the tests and everything what happens next we'll find out um so let's just cut let's just cut to that i have got the results back and everything i am going to go to singapore um, so i'm going to end the vlog out here i'll start the next vlog of saying goodbye to my family because i will be going to singapore on my own and everything uh, but i'll end this one out here end it on a positive note and everything so i hope you have enjoyed this vlog make sure you hit that like button leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos um until next time i'll see you